design thinking. Did you know some of the world's leading brands such as IBM, Apple, Google, Samsung and GE have rapidly adopted the design thinking approach? And design thinking is being taught at leading universities around the world including D School, Stanford, Harvard and MIT. We will now share with you some interesting details about what is design thinking and the stages involved in it. Let's begin by understanding what design thinking is and its origin story. Design thinking is a design methodology that provides a solution-based approach to solving problems. It is extremely useful in tackling complex problems that are ill-defined or unknown. By understanding the human needs involved, by reframing the problem in a human-centric way, by creating many ideas in brainstorming sessions, and by adopting a hands-on approach in prototyping and testing. Origin In the 1970s, computer scientist and Nobel Prize laureate Herbert A. Simon was the first to mention design as a science or way of thinking in his 1969 book, Sciences of the Artificial. Cognitive scientist and Nobel Prize laureate for economics, Herbert Simon has contributed many ideas that are now regarded as tenets of design thinking in the 1970s. So now let's see what is the process of design thinking. The design thinking process can be divided into five key steps. Empathize, define, ideate, prototype and test. When considering the five steps of design thinking, it is important to remember that it is not a linear process. Although we talk about the process in terms of sequential steps, it is actually a highly iterative loop. With each phase, you will make new discoveries which may require you to revisit the previous stages. Let's take an example now to see how all these stages work when we have a real-life problem to solve. The design thinking process is a five-step process as shared and is practiced by students, companies, entrepreneurs around the world. It has given innovative new solutions to everyone using this process. Step 1. Empathize This is the stage where one is required to empathize with the situation. Suppose you wish to help old people. You might find that they want to keep the ability to walk around. They want to be able to keep going out at certain times of the day. Later, in such an interview with the old people, as you dig deeper, you might find that due to personal reasons, things could have been difficult for them. Repeat this interview with other elderly people too, with the same problem, to find out any more such similarities and occurrences or reasons. Step 2. Define Once you dig into the data of the old people sharing about their desire to walk around, you will find that there are actual needs that the old people are trying to fulfill with these activities of being able to walk around. Their reasons to go out can either be to meet their family or friends, or have a cup of tea, or simply to go grocery shopping. You will begin to realize that it is not so much about going out, but more about staying in touch. And after your analysis, you can formulate a problem statement like, some elderly people are afraid to be lonely. Step 3. Ideate Now if you focus only on the problem statement, you need to brainstorm ideas that could be possible solutions. The idea as we shared is not to stick to only one idea that we generate. It is about thinking of many many ideas and to try these uniquely different ideas like giving the old people a virtual reality experience of feeling connected with the others or designing a pushcart for them to move around. Catch up, draw, 
or doodle your best ideas. And with these ideas, it is also important that you get feedback on them. You can get feedback from either the people you are working with or for the actual target audience for who you are trying to make a solution so that they can add their valuable inputs too. Stage 4. Prototype Now take a moment to think about how your idea will turn out and how it will fit in the context of things already there. Your solution could be a new idea along with something that is already being used. Then again, sketch up your final prototype and let's begin designing it. Stage 5. Test It is time to test your prototype without defending it in front of people. Remember that once you show your prototype and you are testing out, people will give feedback and they are only trying to help in order to make your prototype better. Then go back to the ideation or prototyping and apply their feedback. Repeat the process till you are ready with the final prototype that works in all circumstances and gives a solution to your problem statement. 